Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of The Cambridge Ladies Who Live in Furnished Souls, a poem by E. E. Cummings. This poem is actually about the differences in social classes and about the ignorance of the women whom he knows and the reality which he sees. He judges the Cambridge women for the fiction they engage in, that is for the talks, the gossips they engage in and they lack of interest in the real world. He speaks about the lives of women who lived around him and whom he could not but help critic because he finds them so very artificial that he cannot accept the way of uh, living. And he begins first by describing these Cambridge women. He says that they are not actually beautiful, they live a very comfortable life and they are happy in the ignorance. That is what actually surprises him. And he says that they do not have the mental capacity or the willingness to engage with issues outside their own social bubbles. Why he says if the social bubble is, it can burst at any time, something which is not permanent. And they wear masks, meaning they are so artificial, and pretend to care about one cause only for a limited period of time. And the moment another cause comes, they forget this cause and they start gossiping about the other one. And these women would not notice even if the moon rattled in the sky above their heads. They are in such a condition. And he says that these women go to church and because they go to church, they feel that they are blessed by God and therefore they feel good about themselves. But what really annoys him is that their young daughters are also turning out like them. They are going to be just as uninteresting and spiritless like their mother. And he states that the same uninteresting women believe in Christ and Longfellow who are dead now. And their modern world is moving around them in a way that does not inspire them as past ideas do. He also suggests that it's important for these women to be out and about they go to parties, attend various functions and pretend to care about their neighbours. He is actually mimicking what he sees as a broader ignorance about the world. While they might pretend to care about a cause, it is only a passing fancy that allows them to participate in the society. Because only when they show that they are bothered about their cause, they feel they are accepted in that particular community in which they are evolving. And uh, they also know that the other person is also like them only. But that is what makes them uh, as one person and brings them close together. And these women are always concerned with scandals. Their ears are always turned into which scandal is next. And the social must they wear ensure that they fit in and are always prepared for gossips like this. And the Cambridge ladies whose understanding of the world is so limited wouldn't notice if the moon shook. This is how he ends the poem. Let, come, let's read the poem. He says... The Cambridge ladies who live in furnished souls. Actually, he had not uh, written the title of the poem. So, the title of the poem is the first line of the poem. Are unbeautiful and have comfortable minds also with the church's protestant blessing, daughters, unscented, shapeless, spirited. So, he says these women are not really beautiful. Uh, here, the beauty can even mean uh, their physical appearance or their mental health. That is, their mind, their heart. Maybe they are not beautiful in their heart. But they have a comfortable mind because they go to church regularly and feel that they are blessed and they all have daughters who are like them. And he says that they have a shapeless spirit. They do not have a shape uh, like a beautiful spirit. And he says unscented shapeless spirit meaning he does not like what they actually are. And they believe in Christ and Longfellow both dead. See they believe in Christ and also in Longfellow who are both dead at this time are invariably interested in so many things but these women show that they are interested in many things at the present writing one still finds delighted fingers knitting for the is it poles and he says now they are all bothered about women who are making who are knitting for the poles perhaps while permanent faces coyly banding scandal of mrs n and professor d he says this is all a masked face this is what they talk outside. I am doing a social cause. But actually what they are talking is. They are talking about the scandal about one Mrs. N and Professor D. So they are very much interested in gossiping. 
the cambridge ladies do not care about cambridge if sometimes in its box of sky lavender and cornelis the moon rattles like a fragment of angry candy and he says the women are only interested in gossiping about others and they will not even bother even if the moon is going to come and fall on their head this is how he ends up poem it's a very short poem but a beautiful and it also shows how he has observed the world around him if you have anything more to add on to what i've said please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe and support thank you